My job consists of working on commercial refrigeration equipment um, in all applications, schools, um, nursing homes, restaurants, um, and any other establishment that has some type of commercial food equipment in it as far as uh, coolers or ice machines or anything like that. Um, so, you know, we, we go out there to maintain um, the equipment and then obviously make repairs when, when, when they need repairs. My name is Jeff. I work with uh, Pine Tree Food Equipment and I am a refrigeration technician. My career path brought me down to this area from uh, Bangor, Maine in the fall of 99 and I went to USM to, uh, for a communications major and discovered that I wasn't really too interested in that. Um, so I just started cooking because I didn't want to move back up north. I wanted to stay down here. Uh, so I cooked for about 15 years. I uh, always really wanted to go back to school and get my degree. And so one day we had a uh, technician from another HVAC company in our restaurant and I just came out and asked him what do I do to get into that type of work. And he came back a couple weeks later and said, you got to go back to school and get your certifications. And uh, about a month after that, I just went and signed up and left the cooking world. I mean, obviously still cooked while I was going to school for the two years. And uh, now here I am. So I went to Southern Maine Community College and it was the HVAC program, which is uh, heating, uh, ventilation, and air conditioning. And then there is an R at the end of that too. So it's uh, refrigeration is included in that. Um, when I was in school, we focused a lot on the ACs, heating systems for houses and, and businesses and stuff like that. Never did I even consider the fact that I'd be working on food equipment. Dealing with customers and, and putting a smile on their face, that, that's really what drives me to do a good job is, you know, at the end of the day when they're like, thank you so much. You know, we've had other companies come in here and they couldn't figure it out and, you know, you figured it out and, you know, I'm up and running and, you know, and then the goal really is to, to never hear from them again on that certain piece of equipment until something absolutely major happens, you know, just due to age or, or, what, or what have you. You know, that's what really drives me in this career is uh, just making people happy, keeping the food cold. So knowing that I have insurance and that my family is covered um, gives me great peace of mind, obviously. Um, you know, in the hours, if, if you're willing to put the hours in and, and, and willing to work in this trade, I mean, the money's there for you. We get plenty of hours. We, you know, we usually log, you know, at least 50 hours a week. So, so you get your overtime pay, which is, you know, really good. So a good fit to this career is uh, somebody who, who's uh, a hard worker, you know, a good work ethic, and that you, you know, you really want to work hard and um, has an open mind to criticism, uh, is willing to learn from their mistakes and uh, you know, is willing to learn something new every day, because I, I learn something new every day.